Hello everyone, my name is Professor Seaman. Um, Jeff, I go by. Uh, I will be uh, teaching this class this semester. Uh, we didn't expect this to be online. We expected this to be in person for 12 weeks. But due to the pandemic and everything that's happening, um, everything is online. Uh, so I didn't know how I wanted to do this class, whether I wanted to do a weekly session via um, Zoom or do it just as a traditional online class. And so we'll just start off as a traditional online class where we have lectures each week. But if we feel that we rather have that in-person session, we can definitely uh, try that out as well. Um, I did do some of those classes toward the end of my last semester. Uh, we did, I had a Monday class. Uh, we did it online, like in a Zoom session. I had 17 people in the, in the class, but only usually about five to seven people showed up. Um, Tuesday's class was only a small class, so they prefer not to go that method. And then my uh, mobile development class on Wednesday nights, we uh, um, had like a, a session. We only had five students in the class, but everyone showed up and it was as productive as possible. So anyhow, um, so each week I'll uh, give you guys a lecture. Um, I like to give you two things. I'll give you the, the PowerPoint that you can watch, no problem. Um, and then also I'll give you the visual of me talking about this so that it maybe adds a little bit more criteria to uh, what we're looking at. Um, sometimes looking at slides um, is enough, uh, but other times we need to have that that voice or that, that video or whatever the case is. So um, I'm gonna kind of walk through this slide for the first week and go from there. Um, data analysis and visualization. So actually before we get into this, um, I would recommend that you guys download Tableau. Um, if you haven't, um, I, when you download it, um, there is a option that you could choose for a student and they'll send you, um, I, I did a video on it and I'll have to post a video, but uh, you'll sign up as a student and it'll provide you information. And within, I thought it was going to be a couple of days, but within like seconds, I was able to get a, a security key sent back to me. So now I have access, um, from a, a student level. Um, so I, I think it's very simple to do and it's, it, it will be necessary to help out with this class. All right. So, uh, outline some of this stuff was, um, made as if we're going to do it in class. So things have changed a little bit, obviously. Um, so class administrative details, um, once data, data visualization, came to talk this morning, data visualization, uh, course overview, and assignment for next week. So here's my information, uh, my email, uh, website address, um, office hours are by appointment. So if you want to make an appointment, um, if you actually go out to my website, there is a way to make an appointment. Um, so let's see here. Oh, that looks a little funky on here, but um, anyways, yeah, I have to make a change on my site because it doesn't look so great on here for some reason. Not sure why, what happened? Um, oh, you know what? I bet my screen is, yep, that's what it was. For some reason it was zoomed in. All right, nonetheless, you could go out here and I don't think I've updated this accordingly, but let's say that May 5th, you wanna come out here. I do have my hours from four to six. Um, so you could click on continue, uh, put your information in here and obviously it'll be, um, online. So what we'll have to do is we'll set up a zoom and we could talk via zoom. Uh, we could talk via phone or we could do a zoom session where we could talk uh, face to face like this. Um, so if that's helpful, so, and if you come out to my site, I have a bunch of information on here as well. That may be helpful. So that's that, um, sorry, the schedules there. All right. Um, and let's see here, one second. Anyways, there's that, oops. Uh, review syllabus in Schoology, so I've sent that to you guys via email. Questions, please let me know. Uh, learning objectives, focus areas are core data visualization. I can't even talk today. Uh, visualization concepts, um, practical skills for applying um, data te techniques to solve real world problems. Uh, using software. So um, when I think of real world problems, think about what's happening within our industry now. Think about the pandemic. Think about the data that's being collected. So have you guys gone out to the John Hopkins uh, map page? 
Um, how's that data being collected? I, I find it interesting because all that data is being collected some way where they're analyzing and making predictions. To me, if you're in this field right now or if you're taking a class, this makes it really interesting. This is really good stuff to be able to learn how they're pro making projections. So really good, not good times f to the situation, but from a, a statistical standpoint, it's uh, something interesting. Um, so concepts, uh, learn various uh, visualization tasks and graphs um, appropriate for addressing these tasks. These tasks um, analyze data through graphical techniques and evaluate different um, tasks. Um, practice, you know, gather and arrange data in a suitable input from a range of data visualization techniques. Um, so in the industry, a lot of people like to look at nice pretty pictures and see how things are going. Um, like for tra traditionally, uh, one thing that's popular in my thing is I uh, manage a software development team and, and a DevOps team. And a lot of times is when we're doing our weekly sprints or two week sprints or whatever, the burn down rate. So upper management likes to look at the burn down rate and see how we did over that two week period. Did we do well or did we have challenges and stuff like that? And it all comes down to a graph and that's all everyone wants to look, look at is a, a graph. It tells everything. It tells the story of what you're doing. Sometimes graphs don't tell the story, but if you have a good graph and someone knows what they're doing, they can provide a good story without even putting any dialogue to that. Um, so critique uh, the methods and results from a data mining practice. Uh, design and implement, um, implement something using real world data and software um, and evaluate a select proper data techniques applied to these scenarios. So using Tableau, using data that affects something in the real world. So for example, the coronavirus, um, something along that lines. Um, this is the break, uh, grading breakdown. Now this may change because, and the reason this may change is because I had this visual that we would be meeting in person versus online. So this will change a little bit, um, but for now this is what it is. Um, motivation, so what is a goal or a problem? Um, why is it important or useful? So for example, think about the coronavirus. What is the goal? Well, the goal is to, you know, stop what is happening, obviously. Um, and why it's important? Because it's affecting not just here in the United States, it's affecting everybody around the world. So right now it's understanding who is affected, who isn't affected, what drugs are helping. So there's so many things. And, and the motivation here is to stop what's happening and get back to as normal life as possible. Um, method, what is pro a proposed approach? So what are they doing to try to solve the problem? Well, they're trying to, you know, find a vaccination. That's one thing. But in order to do, to determine that they're, you know, they're collecting data and data is, oops, is what, um, sorry, data is what, um, helps, uh, this matter. Okay. And how does this approach work? Well, it's based off of how the data comes in and where it goes from. And what's the takeaway from it? What have you learned? So, you know, what have you learned from the data that you collected? Um, are there other ways to solve the problem? Is it possible to improve the proposed approach? So think about all the things that we're facing and the answers to that. It could be anything. So good stuff. Um, so that's weekly um, visual, what I'm looking for. Um, weekly visual to submit a PDF file and provide a short now this was gonna be something that you did in class, but due to our circumstances, I'm looking for you, you could do a PDF file and you could submit a, a small two minute video on YouTube or submit a, a video on your phone, whatever you wanna do. Um, just talk about what, what's in your PDF, um, what's your weekly visual, what, what, what are you looking at? So this week what we're looking for is you to show us something that you created before or something that you use. Don't have to create anything new, just looking for a visual and just get used to talking about that visual and what that visual represents. Um, so project number one is a group 10 minute uh, maximum presentation. So that is, so this kind of goes down to like each week you'll have a visual, visualization that you have to break down. Um, there's a project one and two, which was gonna be group in a class, but due to circumstances that will probably fall off. So we'll have to change this around a little bit. Um, and same thing with the final project, it was group, it's gonna be individual. We'll, we'll modify it as we go. Um, class policies, well, this was a, a policy before it was attendance, making sure that you were there. But 
since it's online, the only thing I can say is try to participate in discussion questions, and that would be, be very helpful. Um, the late submission policy is typically if you're late by one day, it's 10% off, second day, 20%, and the third day, it's zero, unless you have a very good excuse. Um, reach out to me ahead of time, and I am very lenient and will and we'll, um, be fine with that. Just don't come up with a story that makes no sense because I've heard them all at this point. Um, so thank you. Um, academic integrity, uh, cheating and plagiarism. I'm not going to read through this. I'm sure that you guys have known about this. You already have your undergrad degree, so you've probably heard this a million times. Uh, reference books. Here's some good reference books. Um, this one right here is a really good one on storytelling with data. It's a good way to explain how someone could tell a story.
the performance of the song that I buy. But you have to show a story where one or multiple does better than the other. And so, and then you, you show that current state and then you have to predict a model of the after state where if, if that one person's gone, how's that going to affect the team? Are we going to have tickets that don't get um, answered within the uh, FLA, which is the service level agreement? Most are like 24 to 48 hours. So are we going to meet that threshold or are we going to be in trouble? So those are things, if you come up with a graph, you want to tell that story. Um, focus attention where you want it to be. In this case, I want it to be based off of not the beginning model, but I want it to be based off the predictive model. I want to show how in the future, um, by eliminating one position, how it's not going to affect the bottom line. Okay. Um, contact share, who's your audience? What do you need them to know or do and how? In this case, for me, it would be upper management. Um, what do I need them to know or do? I want to show them how by eliminating a position, 
will not affect us uh, by performance or by time um, and finances. And how do you show them? We have to show a good story, um, a, a good context, okay? A good graph, something that really catches their eye and says, beautiful, I could just look at this and know what you're talking about without you even opening your mouth. Uh, choose an effective visual. Um, what's the best way to show data? Um, a way to communicate. Is it a simple scatter plot? Is it a line graph? Is it a slope graph? Is it a heat map? It depends on the situation. So for example, I worked for a biotech company so many moons ago, and they use heat maps for a lot of stuff. And that was because of the, uh, the scientific studies that they were doing. That was, or a scatter plot was perfect for that. But it depends on the, what the context, and that context was good for that. Um, eliminate the clutter. Um, so um, alignment, strategic use for white space, contrast. Know when you want to use certain items or certain methods. Focus your attention on size, uh, color, position. Uh, design a form flow, uh, follows function. So come up with something like this right here. Uh, model visuals, types of graphs, ordering data, emphasis, storytelling, getting back to that, when and where does something happen, who was the main character, um, what was necessary for this to happen, what's the balance of it, what's the solution. Have all this information down. What's important is write it as if you're writing a document and get that. And then when you put your graph together and see, is that telling all that? Uh, pulling it all together, which is important right here. Um, Tableau. Definitely download it. Introduction, Tableau, data analysis. We'll go through Tableau um, in, in upcoming weeks here, and we'll kind of do walkthroughs and stuff like that. I'll show you guys different things that you could do. Maybe you've used it before, maybe you haven't, but um, most companies are using it. Some aren't. Uh, special to topics, dashboards, beautiful graphics. We'll go through that as well. Um, so weekly, weekly visualization is present the most recent data visualization that you created or use. So don't you don't create go out and create something, just find something that you used recently or something um, that comes to mind and, and talk about it in your short video. Uh, next week we'll do we'll obviously weekly visual one will be due. So all assignments are due Sunday night, if I didn't mention, at 11.59, so it's the end of the day. Um, and then next week uh, we'll talk about history and science of data visualization. And uh, here's some references on Tableau. And that's it, guys. Um, so that was me in a nutshell. Um, hopefully you got something out of this. I thought it was more meaningful to talk about it versus kind of read it and then give you some examples as I would if we were in the class. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, welcome to this course. And I uh, wish you much success. If you have questions, reach out to me. Talk to you soon. Bye.